and here we are back in the garage now as you can see there's a fair bit of work to do in here so i thought i'd bring you with and let you in on trying to sort out some of this mess now there's a joist over there that i need to get to so i can start doing the next part of the garage roof but first of all there's a lot of stuff here that's just off camera that you'll see in a minute as i start to move everything around what a nightmare now this wheel I think I've seen them before, I think they've been on the channel before. It's actually a genuine first generation Wolf Race magnesium alloy slot mag, 10 by 15. And this tyre is an N50 by 15. Now it's going to go on the pair of them. There's one that you're actually resting on the other on the neck on the other one. The pair of these are for the back of the ranchero. But for now, they're going to make a very handy table. So I'll go there. That's a smaller one. Let's go on the front. And as you can see, the weather lately, I mean, we've had, what, 894 days of it? Hopefully that's all over. Oh, this is not falling down. Boxes and associated items to move around. But in the meantime, if you want a couple of channels, well, three channels on YouTube, if you're a regular watcher of, uh, of certain channels, you'll know that uh, Hubnut, Furious Driving, and I Drive a Classic have all got together. We've arranged an event, actually three weeks from now, we've arranged an event, and that event is called Rustaval. Now, there's a whole load of people going down. There's a lot of YouTubers going down. And there's a lot of people going down to display their cars. And I, I'm one of the lucky ones, my car, this one, the 1995 automobile is going to be at Bristol. Now I'm parked up exhibiting the car. I'm parked up, or I will be parked up, in the Mayfair area. Apparently, there's two areas <clears throat> there's Mayfair and there's VDP, otherwise known as Bandit Black. Or even Vanden Plus. So they're the two areas. Okay. They're the two areas where you can park your car up. Or where you can display your car. Whose idea was that? I forgot I tied the top board into the toolbox. So as I was saying, there's the two areas. There's the random flat area, the random class area, which is, I believe, directly in front of the museum. And there's the Mayfair area, which is a bit further over from the front, a bit set back. Now it's uh, three weeks from now, Saturday, March the 9th. It's at the British Motor Museum. That's down in Gaden, in Warwickshire. I'm going to be there all day 
well, all day from around 10 o'clock in the morning. So it's going to be a bit of an early start from here. I believe I'm taking a guest down with me or a passenger down in the car, otherwise known as Camera Girl. She's going to be there with me. And uh, if you want to, hopefully it's going to be a fantastic day. The only thing I think that might put off being a brilliant day would be the typical British weather. Because let's face it, it's March the 9th. And we're in February, what's the February the 16th, 17th, something like that. It's a Saturday anyway, but it's three weeks from now. Three weeks from now, we're going to be at the British Motor Museum in the Mondeo. Having a laugh. I'll have stickers with us. If you want to meet me, if you want to have a look, good look around the car, if you want to have a chat, if you want a sticker, I'll take some stickers with me. But by all accounts, it should be an amazing day. Just to tempt you a little bit further in going down there. So far, I think there's over 600 cars that are going to be on display, going to be exhibited. Obviously, there's going to be a mountain of YouTube cameras, going to be YouTube creators everywhere, one of them being me. So you're in for plenty of footage from all the channels that are going to be there. Uh, some of the ones that I know are going to be there so far, there's uh, Pitney's bus, They're going to, he's going to be there, not with the bus, unfortunately, but Pitney's bus is going to be there. Uh, Whiteland Restorations are going to be there, obviously the big three, I drive a classic, Furious Driving and Hoopnut, they're going to be there. By all accounts, so going to be a brilliant day. Excuse the noise. Right, I think we're just about there. I'll look at the, where I need to be so I can get. As you can tell, I'm in the middle of it anyway, of filming the next part of getting the garage sorted out and getting the roof on it. Now there is a lot of work I need to do on all the cars outside, but unfortunately a lot of that work can't be done outdoors. If you've watched the channel for a while or if you've been uh, watching some of the back video catalogue or the back catalogue videos, uh, you'll see that there's some damage, some storm damage to the final roof on my, uh, on my Dodge Charger. So that needs taken care of. Unfortunately, I can't have a bare metal roof whilst it's outside, not in the UK. I mean, 894 tears of rain are there about so far, and what, 115 storms it seems like since uh, since Christmas, or leading up through Christmas. It's I, I just can't have a bare metal roof outside. So that can only really be fixed or sorted out in here. But first of all, I need to make space in here to get the car in. And there's a couple of other bits and pieces on other cars that need doing and ideally they're better off done indoors than outdoors. Plus, having a garage to work in to fill them in, it's going to be a lot better for me. It's probably going to be a lot better for you. You get more content because I won't be restricted to filming only when the weather's good. Anyway, I have had a whole bunch of new subscribers recently. Thanks for that. Really hope you enjoy the content that's on the channel now or the back catalogue. Go through, have a look at all of that. And obviously, Hope you're going to be enjoying the content that's going to come up lately. I'll try and make it interesting. I'll try and make it entertaining. I know a lot of you are really interested in the one deal. I know you like that. And I have got some work to do on the one deal before we'll get the rust of it, hopefully. What I'll do, as and when the pieces arrive and I get to put them on the car, I'll do a, um, I'll, I'll do a series of getting the car ready for rust of So you will see more of the one deal on the channel before rust of all, leading up to rust of And then, obviously, getting it all ready and finally giving it a bit of a clean in order to get down to the uh, get down to the show and have a good day. For now though, I think I'm going to get on with tidying the rest of this area up. So I can get under those joists, get the rotten bit cut off, get the new bit put on and then we'll start taking the rest of this roof off from underneath. Get the new panels on and hopefully by the time the weather gets warmer, ironically, uh, I should have a roof on completely we'll be able to get a car in here and do some work in the garage and all the new subscribers that have joined again thank you for joining and supporting the channel 
Uh, if you're just new to this channel, if YouTube's thrown it up in your recommendations that you watch it, and you've watched it and you're getting this far, if you've enjoyed the video so far, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and uh, if there's anything you want to know, anything you want to say, leave a comment below. And if you are going to Rustable, March the 9th, um, in Mayfair Car Park, at the Gaydon uh, British Motor Museum, sorry, in Gaydon. I'll see you there for about 10 o'clock onwards. It's going to be a brilliant day.